a smaller tree-dwelling equivalent of the giant anteaters. He's got lots of adaptations for climbing, lots of upper body strength, and those strong claws in the front help him climb. And then his tail is a prehensile tail, so like a monkey's tail. He can use that to grasp and grab and maneuver around the trees. And it's bald on purpose. That helps him grip better. If it was covered in fur, um, it would not grip to those tree branches as well. This is Fernando. Fernando the anteater, buddy. <laughs> so he's one of our animal ambassadors. He lives behind the scenes at Wildlife Connections. Mm -hmm. And he comes out and does presentations all around the park. He goes to people's weddings and he does news and PR. Um, and sometimes we take him out just for fun like this so that he can explore, see and smell different areas in the mound, which can be as strong as concrete. Wow. And then he can also use those claws to defend himself. If he were scared, he'd stand up like this, um, but then he'd have his claws out to the side in like a defensive posture. Um, and then he could squat and um, and try to defend himself that way. Easy. Go, buddy. <laughs> For those just joining, this Say is Fernando. Bye. He Say is bye. a lesser anteater or a tamandua. Inside of his paws, because these claws on the front feet are so long that he can't walk flat footed. And if he tried to walk on a fist, um, they would like pierce his paw pad. So walking on the side um, keeps him safe and then also it keeps the claws from not wearing down because they're not like really touching any surface yeah. so they stay really sharp so that he can use them to rip in to um ant hills and to defend himself from the rest of the way can you done Get off. Ambitious. Yeah, it looks like a pretty big job. Do you want to do a right to the